Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I have coined the phrase before that I am the anti-lawyer lawyer. And I can't stress this enough to you. And as I continue to do my show, I am going to give you countless examples of what I am talking about. But there is no profession that is more rampant with laziness, shysterism, greed, incompetence than the legal profession. I mean, it's really off the charts. And I can document it, I can give you countless examples. And folks, you have to ask yourself this question, well, what about me? Well, think about this. Have you ever heard of one single time, one single time where I stole money from a client, cheated a client, committed a fraud upon a client, did some dastardly deed of some type like that? Hell no. All of my battles have been with the moronic lawyers that exist in this world and the Bar Association that nurtures them. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, from the time they go to law school, to their mentored in law firms, Lawyers become almost inhuman. Every single day, I get reports and stories that will just crack you up about lawyers being wimps, lawyers being shysters. I mean, by the way, even in my own freaking family, my father turned out, I didn't realize this till recently, turned out to be one of the biggest shysters. My brother Jeremy, shyster. And by the way, folks, are you ready for this? I don't get sued for defamation and slander when I say these things about these people. So let's have fun. Let me tell you the latest. You can't make this up. 18 Kentucky bar applicants were given false exam scores. 15 were told they passed when they actually failed. This is the Office of Kentucky Bar Admissions led by the very incompetent and new Valletta Brown. Now just think about that, folks. They told 15 people they passed when they failed. By the way, let me tell you something about lawyers and judges, too, for the most part, and there's some exceptions. I can tell you right now, in Northern Kentucky, for the most part, we have good judges. In Hamilton County, uh, not so much. Folks, they have absolutely, for the most part, lawyers. No business or skills to die, just handle issues the way they ought to be handled. Now, just think about this. Fifteen were told they passed. Then they had to tell them, oh, we're sorry, you flunked. Why would you, why would you even do that? Why would you say, just... Uh, you leave it alone. You already screwed up. Just leave it alone. All these lawyers went to law school. They all studied for the bar exam. Big freaking deal. The bar exam, by the way, is a joke anyway. The bar, you go to law school for three freaking years, and then you got to pass a test to see if you become a lawyer? Really? Same, same with doctors. These tests are useless. Useless. Now, the same organization, the Kentucky Office of Bar Admissions, also handles reinstatement. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I want you all to know that I don't give a damn about my reinstatement. And the reason why is because I've gotten so used to doing what I do outside that process that I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Teeter's Law clients don't care any freaking more. I've been doing it for seven years. I am suing the hell out of them for what they've done to me, the delayed process and everything else. Here is the latest. You're going to love this story. All right. As I reported to you, when I went down after I've been waiting around for seven years, for four or five years during this process, since 2017, they've delayed, delayed, delayed. I mean, what they've done to me is an, an, a joke. 
And they're going to they're going to get sued for what they've done to me. Anyway, they used COVID to delay the process, and I went to my hearing, and my Bulldog Mafia shirt, my blue jeans, and everything. It, it was awesome. And all these people are spaced, masks all, all around, you know. And there was a pretrial, and there was a deadline to produce things. First off, I never got the request that they asked for. Number two, the deadline had gone. Do you know why I was supposed to be there? The Supreme Court of Kentucky said, well, let's give him a psychological exam. Guess what? I passed my psychological exam. No psychological issues. Kind of shocking, isn't it? Well, anyway, guess what they do? They then shift their gear to saying, well, if he doesn't have any psychological issues, to keep him from following our rules, then will he follow our rules? So then they use this, well, we don't know if he's going to follow our rules or not. You know what I told him? I said, listen, in 2013, you sent me through the reinstatement process. One year later, you do it to me again, even though I acted like a Boy Scout. So I learned it doesn't matter what I do. Screw you. And I point blank told him, you reinstate me, I'll follow your rules. If you think I'm going to follow your rules in advance of this, you're crazy. I'm going to speak out. And by the way, folks, this is very important. This is my calling. I now have a studio. I can say whatever the hell I want about any judge or any freaking lawyer. Do you know what freedom that is? Do you know what power that is to fight for the clients and the causes that I want to advance, that is freedom. I love the freedom. I love that I can call Chuck Kabicki, little bitty Chuck Kabicki. I'm glad I can make fun of Kentucky Bar Council, Jane Herrick. And I can also make fun of the Character and Fitness Committee led by Susan Coleman Lawson from Harlan County, transplanted in Lexington, so-called divorce attorney. In the middle of the hearing, she says, will you agree to produce that to us? I said, no. You know why? Because the deadlines come and went, you never asked for it. Glass and Lee Ovi from Eddieville. Glass and Lee Ovi. Screw you, Glass and Lee Ovi. Who the hell are you to judge me as an attorney? I bet you you haven't participated in over 200 jury trials in your career. I bet you you haven't done what I've done in my career. Glass and Lee Ovi. Brian Pack from Glasgow. I think he's a probate guy. Gene Smallwood of Whitesburg. And this is the best one. Cheryl Schneider of Louisville, Kentucky. Do you know who Cheryl Schneider is? Cheryl Schneider represented Stan Chesley in his bar battle. You know the guy that was corrupt as hell, Stan Chesley? He was advocating for Stan Chesley not to get disbarred. By the way, I want to stress this, folks. I've never been disbarred. They suspended me, the Supreme Court, 60 days back in 2015. 2013, excuse me, 2013. And I still don't have my law license. I was suspended for 60 days. 60 days. And I still don't have my law license. I was never disbarred. What they do is they suspend you. Then they make you fight to get your license back. And of course, they don't want to let me get my license back. Thank God I don't care. You believe this? Cheryl Snyder can vote against me but he was advocating for Stan Chesley not to get this part for all the corruption that Stan Chesley did. It's absolutely hysterical. Screw you, Cheryl Schneider, too. Screw the whole bunch of you. Boletta Brown, Jane Herrick. You all couldn't carry my briefcase into the courtroom. By the way, this is funny. They made me select from three psychiatrists, okay? Three psychiatrists. So I had to pick one. I didn't pick these guys. My personal psychologist that I go through counseling with thinks I'm as good as they can be. Supports me 100%. Understands why I fight. Understands why I'm pissed off. Understands why I fight for the Durrani clients. Are you ready for this? This Eblen guy, I don't know who he is. He says, 
well, Mr. Dieters might have a, uh, a little bit of a tension getting, are you freaking kidding me? You have to get attention for your clients. You have to get your attention for the cause. It's unbelievable. They're a bunch of muck muck losers. And thank God I get the call. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Do you think ever in the history of the Kentucky Bar Association, a lawyer ever went on camera and told them off like I am right now? I'm going to buy a billboard in Frankfurt, the busiest intersection that there is, that's going to say, the Kentucky Bar Association sucks. I'm going to get it up as soon as I can. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I've explained to you in countless videos how criminal lawyers take advantage of your fear to charge you money. How domestic relation lawyers will milk those divorces, racking up those legal fees. How defense lawyers, they love when their clients get sued. They bill, 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 bill. There are lots of nice lawyers. There's some good lawyers, honest lawyers. But most lawyers, greater than 50% of lawyers, are shysters. They don't give a damn about you. They only care about money. It's a sickening profession. And I'm going to spend the rest of my years calling them out on it. And there ain't a damn thing they can do about it. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Lawyers suck.